Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you. I'm going to talk about credit card debt for just yeah. a second. You've got all it these items. A record. It's a record. Credit card. Right, credit yeah, 48% card. 48% up. Um, yeah. And many families using, going into debt just to pay for groceries. Yeah. What's your message to Americans right now that you can make America affordable again? Well, I would say my debt. message to them. So he said, credit card debt is at the all-time high. It's never been like this. What's your, what's your message to America? How are we going to solve that? And what will they do? You know what I think they should do? They should, on November 5th or sooner, if it's early voting, which... Largely it is, which is ridiculous. We should have one-day voting, paper ballots. We should have voter ID, and we should have proof of citizenship, because people are voting and people are going on now without citizenship. But we should do it, and maybe we'll be able to get that done, too. It's one of the things I want to do. But my message to them would be very simple. Vote for Trump, and we're going to fix the problem. We're going to get it fixed. We'll get follow it fixed. Follow-up question. Yes, like, good. Kamala's been promising, on day one, I'll do this. And for basically four years, she's promised this day one. Yeah. What will you do on day one to turn this country around? So she is saying, when she gets in, she's in now. And especially with Biden, because, I mean, he's not in the best of shape. But you know what? She's in there now. She can do anything she wants. And she's still saying, if you elect me, I'll do this, I'll do... Why didn't she do it? Here's my one question. It's the easiest question, because she complains about everything, everything, everything. Why didn't she do it? That's the, all I ask. On day one, we're going to drill baby drill, and we're going to close the border, and we're going to let people come in, but they're going to come in ne legally. They're going to come into our country legally. But on day one, we're going to do many things. You know, I can do a lot of things at one time. But the question is often is, what's the first thing you're going to do? I would say we have a tie. We're going to close the border. We're not going to let, we're going to stop the millions of people coming in. And we're going to take all of the criminals that have come in. And we know every one of them, I know. And the local police know better than anybody else. They're going to work with us. I've spoken to a lot of the sheriffs, the incredible, every, every police, virtually every law enforcement group in America has endorsed Trump. I don't think anybody's endorsed Kamala. Not one. I don't think anybody's endorsed him. And you know that better than anybody in Florida. In, all over California, they've endorsed me. We have the relationship I have with law enforcement. And these are great people and people that we have to really cherish and respect and let them do their job and protect them. And you'll always have a bad apple in everything. You have bad apples as reporters. That I can tell you many. I'd say about 80 uh, percent. But you're always going to have bad apples. But you're going to have very, you have very, very few when you look at it. Very, very few. You have to let them do their job. You have to protect them. But Basically, we're going to drill, baby, drill. We're going to get the energy prices down almost immediately, and we're going to close the border, and we're going to get the crooked ones out, the bad ones out, and we're going to let a lot of people come in, because we need more people, especially with AI coming and all of the different things, and the farmers need, everybody needs. But we're going to make sure that they're not murderers, killers, drug dealers, and the kind of people that we have largely coming in right now. Okay?